hi fellows how are you um today i am going to show you my recent uh, exam results which i have taken last saturday um, i have previously uh, taken exams on aws uh, solutions architect cloud practitioner and last week i have uh, participated in the exam of aws csop administrator so um, if i consider the exam um, difficulty level so the cloud practitioner is very easy and i think if you just view my videos you should have get an idea of how cloud practitioner is it and i think if you just participate in the exam you will pass then the next exams is solutions architect and uh, it is also a uh, bit easy compared to csop administrator and um, then the next, uh, I think, CSAP administrator or developer associate, which one uh, you can take. So I have taken the CSAP administrator exam and I passed the exams on last Saturday, which is uh, November 9. So I'm logged into my AWS training account. <laughs> so if you have an account on AWS training, then you can just log in here and then you can go to uh, get uh, AWS certification or access certification click here you will uh, you will be sent to go to my account section <laughs> then if I go to my achieved certifications okay here I can see I have uh, uh, taken cloud practitioner Solution Circuit Associate this year on uh, sorry Solution Circuit Associate February two and double certified C sub administrator November nine. So this is my PDF certificate. If you are certified, you will get uh, this uh, certificate from AWS and. Uh, we have a validation number where you can verify. <laughs> you have also, uh, there are some other. You also, uh, you should also receive a uh, exam uh, details and that gives you an uh, idea of what was total number of scores that you have achieved. So AWS gives you scores around 100 to 1000 and 720 is the pass score. <laughs> Let me download this. I also download my other exams previous so I can compare. So this was the scorecard of my uh, certified solutions architect, which I took on February 2 this year. And I got around, uh, oh, sorry, I got around 869, around 1000. So it was pretty, uh, pretty good. And I, I think the exam is a bit simple. If you have <coughs> one or two years of exams experience, then you can easily achieve this score. So uh, these are the six areas, actually five areas, where they have. Uh, Five domains where they have differentiated or categorized their uh, questions and I have made their competence on all of those sections here then I go to the CSOPs here uh, the scores are not that good it's uh, it's pass score because if you cross 720 then they gave it pass because it's 746 but it's not that good as solutions architects 8 six nine <laughs> and if I go through the exam results breakdown so I have uh, needs improvement on networking and automation yeah that's two area that I need to improve okay so um, if you are planning to take an exam on uh, CSAP administrator you need to cover these seven domains that is monitoring and reporting high availability deployment and provisioning, storage and data management, security and compliance, networking, and automation optimization. <laughs> so I hope um, this gives you a uh, brief summary of uh, how you can take exams and where you can see your results. And if you, are, if you are certified, you get some benefits 
where like you can share your transcript with the world so I have my transcript this is this is actually what I will where everyone can see my certifications and you have uh, digital badges where I have three badges now Cloud practitioner, solution architect, CSAP administrator. Okay, so thank you, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I request you to do, do do so because that gives me some encouragement to create more videos for you. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.